navigating your ServiceNow instance both quickly and easily can make life sweet. And right now, I'm going to show you how to use the list editor so you can navigate your list like a boss. So what the heck is the list editor? Well, the list editor allows you to edit field values directly from a list without having to navigate to a form. I'm going to hop over to my personal developer instance so you can get a look at exactly what I mean. So here we are on the incident list. We'll scroll over to assign to. And let's zoom in so you can get a better view. To open the list editor, we'll go to an empty area in the field. We'll double click and the list editor opens. We can then change the field value. We'll change this from Beth Anglin to David Liu. We'll select David Liu's name and we have the option of either selecting the green check to save or the red X to cancel. We'll go ahead and select the green X to save. And just like that, the assigned to field has been updated. Now this certainly makes a lot of sense on a one-off basis, but what if you want to do this for multiple fields? Well, the list editor got your back. So let's head back over to the incident list and I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's say for example, that we would like to select multiple consecutive fields. We'll select the shift field, click, and then drag. We'll then double click on the empty area of the field and the list editor opens. We can then change the value. I want to draw your attention to this. See how it says eight rows will be updated? So that's letting you know that all of those eight rows that you just selected, those will be updated with the value that you place here. We'll go ahead and cancel this. But what if you want to do this to multiple records, but they're not consecutive? You can do that too. <laughs> You'll select shift command and then click on the empty area. Uh, let's go ahead and select this record assigned to Howard Johnson. Now to update the field, similarly, you'll double click on an empty area and you can go ahead and change the field value. We'll go ahead and select the red X to cancel this. Now, isn't that a heck of a lot easier than having to navigate to those individual forms and putting in those change field values? I certainly think so. And by the way, be sure to stay tuned to the next video where I'll show you how to personalize your list based on your particular user preferences. And I'll see you there. Let's go.